and we're back for our second part of Escape of Authority, week four. Our group has set out on their travel to try to find this tier, the trade broker, and to suffice the needs of this strange noble that they've encountered. Hopefully, to cut down this tear and leave him as a reminder to his children not to mess with money. A day has passed since last we saw our group of mercenaries and they find themselves deep in the northern woods. Tall pine trees stand before them on each side but the evidence of any noticeable individual coming through here has already left with the days gone by or whoever was traveling was making attempts to keep their position hidden. Afterwards, it doesn't take long before the group starts to get a little self-conscious on the idea if they're heading the right direction as the camera moves in picking up with them mid-conversation on their second day of travel I do believe we're going the right way it's just he said three days walk so you know it'll, it'll, it'll take a while it's taking too long three days walk Constantine three days walk will probably come upon him along the way. Han, I'm sure you've had treks in the wilderness before, correct? Yes. How did those go? Han live in forests. Yes, well, Han make I'll... friends in forests. Oh, really? What type of friends? Small friends. Such as? Tasty friends. Oh. I thought you didn't eat friends. No eat friends. But you refer to your friends in the forest as tasty. Yeah. Did you eat them? No. Oh, then how would you know that they were tasty? Because they tasty. I see. Well, have you met any friends that didn't taste very good? Yeah. Oh, who? Pan don't want to talk about this. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! I'm, I'm sorry, Pan. Is that a bad memory you don't want to relive? Pan don't want to talk about this. Gonna be a. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Pan. I'm sorry. I'm As sorry, you I'm continue sorry. going on this line of thought, then move forward. The more and more things start looking less familiar, and the more it seems internally you're going on the wrong path. This this is the way, I'm sure of it. I'm pretty sure I saw some of these trees before. No. No, you haven't. I'm sure I am sure I'm gonna roll a Survival. I believe we go in the wrong direction. <laughs> survival would help, but I need you to roll a knowledge geography first. Oh. Oh. <laughs> zero. I rolled a three plus a zero plus a two, which would get me a five, but because I have zero points in it, it's a minus five. So that would be a zero. So, looking around the area, 
you're unfamiliar with this forest entirely. It probably would have helped a lot if you spent time talking to people to figure out more about this area you're heading to before leaving. But on your expediation, you don't know much about this forest. You're not from here. And as you turn, each tree looks like the last. And the idea of Constantine saying that this is the same one that you've already passed doesn't help in how you feel coming through here. So now you can make your knowledge survival check, but with a minus 20. So two. So looking through here, it still doesn't help your emotions on how you guys are going through here. You internally know you don't know where you are, but externally haven't said anything yet. yet. Hashtag passive aggressive DM. <clears throat> okay, uh, so. <sighs> I gave you chances. Three times. <laughs> she put a hand to her chin as she's looking at the trees. <sighs> I, um. We might have jumped the gun a little too early on trying to find this man. My Why? gun's right here. Uh, well, um, I, we might have been able to ask them about this forest. I didn't wish to uh, uh, make anyone seem make us seem suspicious by asking all these questions, but I guess it couldn't have been helped. Why? I, I, I don't know where to go, Han. Why? Because it didn't ask Can enough I... questions. Hey, if I wanted to know, could I roll nature? Or do I have to roll geography? Nature would only tell you information about the trees and the environment around you. Geography would help you get a better idea of the landscape to traverse through it. And then with that, you can use your survival normally. Oh, okay. Nature will oh. just tell you about the nature around you, not how to travel through it. Oh, my geography and nature are the same anyways. I thought I had higher nature. I tried. It's so better than me. I tried to me. roll a knowledge geography, and I rolled a six plus my five invested. Plus, plus two. two. It's better than zero. <laughs> so with your 13, you get an idea of the area around and looking at like how the trees are growing, how like small little details in the forest, you get an idea of which way is north. So now you can roll a survival and you have no minuses. Oh no. Okay, wait, well, yeah. Alright, I rolled survival. I rolled a. <laughs> Rolled a five, plus ten invested, plus my magic divided by two. Equals twenty-two. There's more and more proof that Garan is fucking useless. Go on. <laughs> but Pawn, as Garana seems to be confused and looking to lead you guys actually further east, like, you're able to tell that you're no longer moving north and... You don't know how far off the track you guys are, but if you want, you're able to correct it. Pawn away. Pawn starts going off in the correct... correct way, hopefully. Um, I, Pawn, wait. Whoa, wait, where... <sighs> she should follow... Pawn, Pawn, where are you, where are you going? Are you, are you sure? Shut up, 
gonorrhea, pan no things. I... <sighs> I guess I really have no choice at the moment. She would look back to Constantine, is he following? <laughs> yeah, he's following. Okay. Does he regret everything? This looks frustrated. So as everybody begins to follow Pawn, time begins to go by as this day ends and the next starts. And if you were eating, that'd be three days worth of rations. Okay, okay. Could I yeah. find food? If you would like to roll a survival check, you can attempt it. Yes, please. Right, I rolled a 21 total. I rolled a 4, plus my 10 invested, plus my magic divided by 2. 21. So on the first day, you're able to find berries to suffice you for the that day. But moving further into the direction and in the forest that Grana was taking you, you would not have found anything edible. And a lot of the vegetation on the lower part of the ground, like the berries and whatnot, seem to have rotten for some odd reason. So does that equal two rations used? Or... Yes. Right. Just two. Okay. For her. Oh, for her. She wasn't saving. Good. <laughs> hmm. But as the third date gets halfway full, you start to get in the direction or the idea that you probably should have been there by now. So either the diversion that you went off lasted longer than you thought, or... Who knows? But the further you guys move, the colder it seems to be getting. The less life you start to see in trees, and... Just the more isolated you all begin to feel. Granted, this isn't a dead forest, you can still hear the sounds of woodland creatures in the distance, but it seems like they are keeping your distance away from the initial moving party. Hmm. Uh, as we're walking, I'm gonna roll a survival just to know exactly how to deal with you know the lower temperatures and such with how to bundle up and stuff like that can i do that you don't need to it was probably just get warmer clothing <laughs> okay i guess i mean like you know just in case we anyway okay well hmm. it's getting colder Thing looks worse. Yes, quite. Hmm. I'd roll. So let's make it knowledge. Helix. Does it seem like helix magic, or does it, or does it seem like? Uh, I'll just look for the macro. Where did I put the macro for that? Do do. I don't think I put. Did I put a macro here? Ah, oh, whatever. I'll just roll a D. Oh, no, here. There, there we go. No, Helix. Does this seem like Helix magic? <laughs> Helix magic can alter degrees of temperature, yes. Mm. Uh, well, it could be magic. Although it might just simply be the change of the seasons. I don't think a three days walk would take us that far out of a... <sighs> side of a climate, but we'll have to see as we go. Pawn, are we still going the right way? Mm, are we? 
You feel so, yes. Can't think so. Okay. Hmm. Yes, this was a oversight. I should not have missed it. Uh, let's see. So, oh. after time passes by once again, the later part of your third day starts to approach and in the forest you can see the flicker and light of what looks to be a campfire ah, there's something I think this uh, could be it. it could be uh, how which one of you are the, is the best stealthiest yeah, the best stealthiest. The best stealth at stealth. There we why, go. Why? Why don't we go up and knock? Uh, best we keep this with a bit more of a subtle approach. Plus, I'm sure. Knock. It's a camp. <laughs> right. Y yes. Anyway, uh, upon you we... get hit in the head by a strange nut. <laughs> She looks so up nut. You've never seen this kind of nut before. She pockets it. What was that, Pawn? She shrugs. Hmm. We go up, knock on camp. <sighs> yes, I guess. Perhaps if we... Show ourselves to be uh, trustworthy, they'll allow us near them. Although, does this look to be off the path? There has not been a path. Okay. Yeah, I guess we couldn't possibly miss him if he hadn't been on the path, so. Yeah. Uh, I'll. I'll. I'll co up first. Uh, if they do act in some sort of uh, hostility, they'll be drawn to me. You two can keep off a little bit. Catch them unawares if things go awry. Sounds to be a hog in the distance. Are we going to do it then? I don't yes. see why we don't just all go. No reason not to. I guess, I guess. Because gonorrhea really long winded. <sighs> she would just make oh. her way to the camp, fuck all of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll just immediately follow on. Follows as well. So with your trek, you make your way to the fire as it seems to shimmer off what looks like metal. As a person sitting there stoking the flame catches your guys' movement, stands up and draws what looks like a sword and holds it in your direction. Who goes there? Hi, my name's Pond. What are you doing out here? Don't come closer! What are you doing out here? These woods don't get many travelers. And you don't look like you belong. Pond uh -huh. wanna make friends. How far are we away from him? Can I see his features? You're approximately about... 50 or 60 feet away from him. You can see that he looks... Human. That's blaringly obvious. Uh, my name's Garana. And what is yours? None of your concern. And with that, a softer, more 
apologetic voice comes out. Bears, stop, be kind. As a hand, like, reaches out from a tent that he was standing next to that he seemed to position himself in a way that you would have to move past him to get to it. As a fair-skinned woman would come out of the tent, sporting on garb that, if any of you are familiar with your deities, seems to be reminiscent of a follower of swan. Right. Um, hello? Do she, does she look familiar? To you three? No. Um, hello again. Hello, do you need rest? Come, we have a campfire. They say that the temperature should be getting cold soon, so you may make rest. I'm sorry for cutting you off. It's very well meant, Guarana. Yes, and your name? Abby. Abby. That's a nice name. Abby. Uh, she would make her way over to the camp. The armored man would just give you all glares. He would lower his sword, but he would keep it unsheathed. And always staying within, like, a quick sprint's reach of this priest of Swan. Priestess of Swan. Pawn waves to him. He just seems to glower at Pawn. Put the sword away. Now, no, there doesn't need to be any fuss over that. I'm sure he's simply on his guard, which is perfectly fine, Mr. Barris. Though he isn't technically incorrect, this is quite far from any city, or you're lost. No, no, we are simply on a bit of work that requires us to head out. Gonorrhea lost. Y yes, I did get us a bit lost at first. I'm so terribly sorry to hear that. Uh, have you eaten? We've just recently were able to kill a coon if you're interested you cook it well actually Barris cooked it his rough exterior seems to not let on to the fact that he's actually a pretty good cook Con <laughs> whips her head around him Pawn like to cook too. He kind of like takes a step back from that and kind of has the anime sweat drop. <laughs> we shouldn't be wasting our food. She would like give him a way, um look before he even finishes that sentence, and he'd sigh, close his eyes, and then like cough in his palm. Well, if the mother wishes you all to take part, then by all means, eat our night's rations. Ah, oh, well, thank you. Han can find something for you. I look over to Pan. Pan, uh, Pan uh, make sure that it's. Uh, you no, know. she can't. <laughs> I rolled a what? Plus my ten. Plus... Seven. Fifteen. So, you don't find any food. What you do find... Well, I guess to you it is food. But Pawn kind of rushes away and... After ten minutes or so of looking, Pawn... You find something very strange. A tree that seems to be clawed by some type of beast. 
and judging by the size of the claw marks, it's well larger in spread than your head, like, in comparison. Does it look like it could belong to an Ursa ring? <laughs> the type of jagged marks it made don't seem like it belongs to any natural creature. Okay, Pon comes back looking sad. Pon will find anything. Ah, <sighs> well, I guess that's too bad. But, um, I am grateful for the, uh, rations. That would do us quite well. Um, why are you yeah, two out After here? that, ten minutes have gone, like, he would have eased up and sheathed the weapon, but never taking a hand off the hilt. Mm -hmm. So why are you two out here? Uh, well, I was summoned from another town, actually. And we're making our way to... A noble's manner to well I'm assisting in birthing one of their children they didn't have do well yes it's something that most priests of Swan are capable of I see do you know whose it is I do believe it's a noble lord's son's child. I see. Hmm. It is a joyous time. Yes, it is. Huh. I'm surprised that these um, bearers would say, like, looking you guys over. Even made it this far in the forest. If you didn't run into us, you'd probably be caught dead. Why exactly? For one, you were shivering your asses off while you were coming up here. Yes. And two, you look like a bunch of lost cubs. Pano cub. I'll have you know I've outgrown my calf years, thank you very much. Now, now. People are prone to making mistakes. Mistakes don't fault the person. It's something that you learn from. You have to excuse him. He had to leave to fetch me from the other town and hasn't seen his family back at his manor for quite some time. He's a little antsy. Ch oh, so... You're a relative of those at the manor. What's it to you? Oh, just making conversation. Considering that we're on the topic of the Lord's son having a son or a child of some kind, are you an uncle, cousin? He would look at you with piercing eyes, seeming to gather your intention for this line of questioning. I need you to make a bluff. <laughs> okay. I rolled a nine plus a one plus a negative one. So that would be ten minus one, which would be nine. At least you actually put a pluff, point in bluff. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, actually, it's not negative one. It is um, nine plus two, uh, eleven, because it uses skill now. I didn't change that on this sheet. <laughs> I 
11 matches his 11, which, in Requiem, defending always wins. Oh boy. <laughs> that was clutch. As he'd look you over, like, still glaring, but, like, turn his head to the side and does the edgy, like, I don't need to look at you while talking thing while eating on the raccoon. I'm one of his nephews. I see the lords. He doesn't say more after that. Okay. He has something to hide. My own business. Something of it? No, no, there isn't. She looks pointedly at <laughs> uh, Constantine. You seem remarkably suspicious. So it's suspicious for a man to want his own private business private. Why don't you tell me about all the whores you slept with, then? I've never slept with anyone. People disgust me. <laughs> oh, so you're just playing a soul phone. <laughs> Pawn, I need you to make a listen check. Alright, I rolled a 1, plus my 2 from my skill, and then minus 5, because it's not trained, so that makes it a negative 2. Alright, you just are eating the raccoon. Tastes okay. She's buzzing through it like it's corn on the cob. So where are you all headed? Oh, well, we were... We need to... We, huh, we have some uh, work that we need to deal with. Um, it, it is actually around the manor's way, so I guess we'll probably be... We could probably stick around with you on the way there. No, we don't need you. Pan disagree. Your aid isn't wanted. Pan see marks of Big Beastie out there. Big Beastie might be round here. I'm sorry? <laughs> Garana would look to Pan. <laughs> Is your girl touched in the head? There are no beasts in this forest aside from those that belong here. Big claw mark, she holds her hand. So there are beasts in the, in the forest. Saying that the only beasts in the forest are the ones that belong here means there's beasts in the forest. <laughs> <laughs> are you touched in the head? Do you see her arms? There is no animal that live like that. Pan show you. She gets up. And then walks off towards where she found it and waves him over. He, like, passively waves you off and stays seated. Garana would get up and look to where Pawn's pointing. It will take a while to walk to where it was, Pawn. Pawn will walk around out there. Constantine continues to glare at his new angry target. <laughs> What are you looking at, plate face? Ooh. Looking at a fool. Is supposed to protect this woman? You see her now, don't you? Protected. I haven't done anything to attempt to disarm any of us. If we had ill intent, they'd be dead already. If you had ill intent, you'd be in the ground before you had a chance to even attempt it. Would I? You would. Point uh, his hand out. To, point his hand out towards him, but not do anything beyond that. Do you still feel safe? Do 
Yes. There's now a gun in his hand. And there's a sword at your throat. And it's a free action, no matter what I'm done before he is. Then initiative off. <laughs> it's a draw. Alright, I will. I rolled a 12. <laughs> he rolled a 13. Oh, <laughs> so around the time your gun is out, his blade is unsheathed and at your throat. Which there's this tense moment of the two of you like eyeing each other down as you have your gun like pointed up towards his center mass and his sword like near you near your throat. And it's around this time you hear the sound of Garana yelling in the forest towards the group. What? Oh, oh, I see. <laughs> As you confirmed what Pawn saw. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we need to, we, 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 we need to go, Pawn. Okay. Okay, let's let's let 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 let's head back to the camp, okay? Okay. Do 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 you have any idea where this beast might be off to right now? Panda no. Oh, that's that's wonderful. Do you have any idea how these beasts would operate? Do you have any idea what it is? Panda no. Oh, that's lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay, let's 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 get ourselves out of here. Um, hello. Everyone, back hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. on. And what were you saying, Constantine? Well, after like hearing yelling, I believe that means he found something. Like, Barris would look, keep looking down at you, but saying that this seems to be a stalemate. He would make the steps to move back first. He would lower his gun off he starts to move back. It's around this time, Garana and Pond would make their approach back. So exactly how big were those claws compared to me? Probably could do some major darm damage to your arm. Okay, um, yes, there were quite big claws out there. Could do quite a number on myself, actually. Um, I would suggest that we, uh, either, you know, take precautions to ensure that we're not being hunted at any point in time, or perhaps we should keep moving. Are you... are you positive? I saw the claws for myself. The claw marks. Barris would still... Barris would still look a little, um... Like, passive-aggressive about the situation. Well... If it's for our own safety, it probably wouldn't harm us to keep moving. Move in the dark without a proper fire source. Priestess, even if that was a small idea, we're still about a day's way from my father's, father's my uncle's abode. The horses would not be able to make a trek like that within any short period of time, even if we were being chased. And them on foot. 
He stops at that. Good. And then yep. thinks that yep. over. It's like, very well. Let us pack. I'll get your horses ready, priestess. <laughs> Sense motive that. Getting away on a dark on your own. <laughs> like you said, you can't see. I think I'll search through. Sense motive what he just did with the just, oh yeah, them, them on foot, and oh yeah, let's pack. <laughs> Do you really need a sense motive of that? I just want to make sure. <laughs> it's not hidden in the intent of that was very suspicious. Why? But don't Pan, you, you could... Like, it's the same thing. It was just a very suspicious and unregular action from what he's been acting so far to just all of a sudden change and agree can I tell that he intends to leave us yeah you can tell that his intentions don't seem to be in the favor of you all you know like us yes you don't care be... about us yes you seem to be in a hurry to just leave us what are you talking about this was your plan we need to move, correct? Yes, we all need to move together. Safety in numbers and all that. Whether well, if there is a threat, my job is to protect her amongst all. You stink. You're doing it very well. He doesn't answer and just starts packing up. Well, Abby, how do you see the situation going? I don't know the situation. I've never seen a monster or a beast. I've normally just helped towns as I could see fit. They hmm. die just like men do. Yes, although it might take a little bit, I would suggest that we do stick close. It would probably be best, plus it would pain my heart to see a priestess of Swan get butchered in the middle of a jungle or a forest or whatever this is. I need everyone to make spot checks. Oh okay. boy, oh boy. Oh boy. I rolled a three plus a two. I rolled a four plus a five plus a 5 to get a 14 and if it matters remember Constantine has super mega ultra dark sight <laughs> you can see so good zero. <laughs> Miss Pawn at uh. your spot <laughs> it's awful <laughs> 3 Constantine, while sitting here talking to Abby and Barris is basically getting and preparing their horses, looking about, you pierce through the darkness and see four sets of green eyes softly flickering off of the campfire light. And these eyes seem to sit about eight feet off the ground with hulking center masses like embodying them. I certainly see the creatures. Karana would look to Constantine. I'm sorry. You can see the creatures that are over there. She would. She would look she would to, to the priest again. Person you seem to be allowing to protect you didn't see them. 
isn't very useful. And she put in that spiteful comment. The silence of the area is broken with a very violent and threatening roar. As four large, furry, hulking creatures seeming to move with their arms into the ground and their stubby legs behind them kicking off to give them more speed rush towards the campfire and the four of you. And with that, that's where we're ending this week. Woo! So, thank you guys for watching escape of authority we will see you guys all next week on tuesday at 11 35 p.m a.m cst for the continuation of the group's arc in this particular mission I want to thank you all for watching and remember you can support and help the stream for following or subscribing whichever you can do and you can do that on Nidex Gamer at Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, and Patreon. And once again, thank you all. Blah, blah, blah. Thank you all for coming out. And we are heading out. So, see you guys next time. Peace. Peace. Okay. With that, I guess I shall. Starts to get ready. I guess I'll stay on here as I do so.